So taking a closer look at the package, um, we see it says screw-in traction studs with wide auger treads, tungsten carbide traction, so they're hardly going to wear, uh, for use in tires, tracks, and footwear. Uh, the model number again is GST1000. This is for bicycles. I'm going to be putting them in my D emissions. Uh, protrusion or prominence, 2.2 millimeters. Uh, penetration uh, into the tires, 6.2 millimeters and use the installation tool which I'll just show you in a minute is number 4000 and this package contains 150 of the studs as you can see them there and as you can see by the size of my thumb there they're not huge now, and on the back we have some installation instructions um, always check tread depth before installing grip studs do not install or remove with impact drivers attach install tool to power drill snap a stud into the tip of the install tool. Position stud on a thick knob of tread. Apply pressure straight down while slowly screwing the stud into the knob until the notches on the stud are buried into the rubber. Studs may come out if they are not adequately sunk into the rubber surface. For optimum traction, install studs in very position. And a cautionary note here in the bottom. Uh, check tread depth before installing studs to prevent studs from puncturing all the way through the tire. Studs may damage mark concrete flooring truck beds and other services and again we have the contact grip studs merlin organ and their website and email and this is the installation tool and i must say it's a pretty neat design it comes in two parts you have the um you have the actual uh installation piece here this is this uh, like a hexagon on the back so it'll chuck up 20 power drill and this here is the, uh, I guess, the manual handle, and it slides right in there, which is a pretty neat design. It's a minimal, uh, you know, waste of materials to get uh, to get both both products. I must say that's a, that's a good idea. Um, and if you look at the grip studs themselves, um, at the actual tip, there's two notches. I'm not sure if we can see it here. I guess you can. There's there's a notch right there. And a notch on the bottom and this is the uh, the grip that will be protruding out from the tire and these two prongs on either side of the tool actually goes in those grooves and then the tip slides into the tool so it, it's held in there pretty pretty tight and the the wide auger part the tip of it is quite quite pointy quite sharp so it should this is my Norco Bigfoot which I'll actually be using the grip studs I'll be putting them into these uh, stock tires that came with the bike. They're actually V Rubber Missions, uh, 26 by 4, and they're the 72 TPIs. Taking a closer look at the tire, it has actually seven rows of 64 knobs. And the packaging says to stagger, sort of like some sort of random pattern. So what I'm planning on doing is studying every second knob on the outside here. So it'd be like that one, uh, that one that one and then what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll stud every second one of these uh, that one that one and that one sort of thing right around the tire and that should be before installing the studs I wanted to measure the tread depth it actually came out to be 2.30 millimeters uh, which is half the depth of the actual grip stud so I took the rim took the tire up the rim and installed one while just feeling the inside here and i have a small dimple there but it's nothing to be concerned about and they're pretty much flush which is i believe what you're supposed to do so uh, i won't be using this with my drill because it's too big of a risk of, of penetrating the carcass but i will be using the manual tool to install the studs so you just place it on the knob apply pressure and a little bit of an angle so that the tip of the auger will catch and then you'll feel the resistance and it will slowly pull itself into the tire just keep turning you know maybe half a dozen turns and it's in there I'm feeling on the inside of this tire just to make sure it doesn't protrude and there you have it it's just that easy
what I found is that it takes about in between 15 to I guess 20 seconds to install the stud once you get it you know seated in the rubber and get it screwed in uh, to the pop proper depth so depending upon how many studs you need to put in depends how long it's going to take I've got this first set of studs in and they went in quite easily um, now the second set as the rotation of the tires in this direction I'm thinking that maybe I'll go say with this stud and this stud and here's the front tire all studded up and ready to be put back on the bike um, I've got about 128 studs in the front tire in a modified V pattern. Um, now it's on to the back. I just want to show you how easy it is to install using using a drill. I have a grip stud already put into the, the bit and you just, oh, this here is actually my winter riding boots. Um, I just select a, a lug on the boot, press the drill, it drifts in forward, and the grips in and it pulls it right in. Very, very simple. Um, they take it out, put it back on, reverse, there you go. No damage done to the boot, and the same thing, no damage done to a tire. Grip studs, a viable option to the expensive and hard to source studded mountain bike tires, as well as the tire destroying self studding using screws. Uh, these studs were super easy to install. They don't destroy your tires because you can remove them at any point in time. And it's going to make my fat biking this winter much more safer. Thanks for watching.